Hello, in this video we show you how to add email accounts to your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now there are a variety of ways to add email accounts to the Galaxy Note 3 depending on the account that you want to add. The primary account for most people is a Google account through which you scroll down through the settings, click the settings icon, click general, click accounts and add account and then you select Google from the list. You also have the option for a Microsoft Exchange ActiveSync connection or an email account like so. Now by clicking on that it's the same method as if you were to click on the email app shortcut within the applications tray. It's here that you enter your account information. Now I must note that it's advisable to have as much information about your email account available. So for many personal accounts like Gmail and Hotmail or Outlook, uh, a lot of the settings are pre-configured, but if you're connecting to a work email account, you may need additional settings for that that will likely be available from your device administrator. So if you enter in your email address, so I'm gonna just do that now. Once you've entered your email address, you then need to enter your password. So once you've entered your password, you can try and click next and the device will ask which type of email account it is. So it's advisable if you know this, but I know mine's an Exchange ActiveSync account and it's gonna go and try and retrieve some of the information. Now in this instance, because it's a custom setup, it couldn't finish it, it couldn't bring all the details, so I have the option to edit the information. So it's here that I can then go and change this information to reflect my personal email account. So once you've entered the required information and configured it, you click next, click OK. Now in this instance, I've got a security warning that I have to confirm to, so I click continue. It's now checking some further settings. Now this can take some time depending on the configuration with your account, etc. So you may have to confirm to some security issues here. Uh, to confirm, click OK. You can then set up some of the frequencies and things around uh, how often your accounts uh, push or receive emails, what size the emails are, for how long it synchronizes things, and what notifications you get. So you've got lots of control here. Once you're happy, click Next. Then process your account. You have to activate uh, for Exchange servers quite often that the device administrator can sort of wipe your device in uh, the case for a business scenario and erase all your data for security uh, situations. If you click cancel, you won't be able to activate the account. Click activate, set a name for it, click done, and then that will be your email account. Then activate it. Then I can go into the email client from my apps tray or from the shortcut and I'll be able to access emails once they've synchronized with this device, which may take a few minutes. The configuration and options may change slightly based on your personal email account, but the general principle follows that uh, setup as shown in this video. Thanks for watching.